All right, if you go look at my pictures I posted yesterday, my zucchini wasn't this big. So, I'm out here about the same time as yesterday. That's 24 hours worth of growth compared to yesterday. I think I'm about to move one of my indoor cameras to out here and just make it do a time lapse to show how it's growing. Cause it was growing so much yesterday. Well, the cucumber was actually had to move some of my greens to the front. And now it looks like I'm gonna have to move this jalapeno pepper plant over because of this one is growing very well. I don't know what it done got a hold to, but it was not this big yesterday. And 24 hours worth of growth. Uh -oh. These broccoli leaves right here were this big yesterday. Uh, I have pictures on that from yesterday also. So this just confirms this week I need to go and pull the money and finish my system on one of my off days. Hey, it has to be done so I can expand it because it's, eh, I'm going to run out of room. Uh, beans are still doing fine. These are the small ones we transplanted. They're waking up. So it's the spinach. But it worked like that yesterday. It's, so it's actually doing very well. It's nice to see. Hopefully it produces some um, zucchini. Have a little garden friend right there. Keep it still around for now. As long as by tomorrow I see some insects he has caught. If he hasn't caught any, I'm gonna stick a light out here to catch him. And he gotta go also. Strawberries flowering, so hopefully these are about ready to come up. But these will be moving also. They will will not be in this system once the nest is done. Eggplant, of course, the flower that had the crap on it fell off. So it fell off. I guess they're not getting pollinated or not enough flowers up here in that one time to pollinate each other. Bought two more eggplants. Ball. This one is the mini eggplant, I believe, and the one in that corner is the Japanese eggplant. Somebody's gonna pollinate somebody. Some plant sets is gonna be going on all up in our ear holes, and we are gonna have some eggplants around here. But it is some more flowers about to pop up on all of those. I already picked those tomatoes off. And see, this is my wife's banana, hot banana pepper plant. Flowers are starting to come, so this may come with their beads. And this is our Tabasco, which has one already coming up. And a couple more small ones. I'm just gonna keep letting this green onion grow and grow and grow. It may stay in this system, I may transplant it. I'm not sure, but look at this bean one single bean on this plant so i got a uh i got a t-bone steak in there i'm eat that t-bone steak with one freaking bean i'm gonna do it i'm gonna be that dude i don't care what people say about me uh gotta get the system ready so we can transplant this kale and this i don't think it's any spinach left i think all of those are kale because no broccoli took off in this system and it's different than those leaves over there so that's my wife's kale that we have to transplant, get going. If they stop going, then we'll start some more from seeds once the new system's up with the rest of the greens. And then this tomato plant. It produced only four tomatoes the first time around. Now looking at it, we're looking at, from what I could tell right now, we're looking at at least eight to 12, which would be great. System don't take up that much space in my dogs, those killers right there. They ain't worth, well they all worth a lot, but when I was gonna say they ain't worth crap, but they do their jobs. You know, some tank, we're gonna eventually be, I think we're gonna replace this tank. And I think this tank is gonna be the one that gets replaced and we're gonna order a new one. A new one, put it a little deeper in the ground. So dig it deeper, 
move the pipe that's underground and drop this deep and turn this one, cut it in half, turn it into a grow bed. Because I have I got too many holes on the side, which I can stop up, but I'll stop them up once we um get a new tank. Fifty dollars for a new tank, and that's what we'll do. And actually try to bury it in the ground. Use some of my sons for help. See some of the fish. Ooh. Yeah, I wish I can catch some of these. They have a nice colors coming on them. So a lot of orange showing in the tilapias. I really can't tell. I already fed them move. So they're not going to eat too much of this food. Stop this water real quick. Here we go. They still have yet to eat that bug. So somebody got to get the balls and eat them. Yeah, you can see the one with the orange on it right there. I'm not sure. I think that might be a dominant male in there. So, uh, got a couple of them with it on it. But I'm ready to let them get some size and eat them. Yeah, shame my game. Big out to eat over there. Get more in this tank. To lemon tomato, lemon boy tomato plant. Semi dying down, hasn't died down all the way, but its roots are gone. The Heinz tomato plant has its first little tomato on it, and I don't think that second any other one's going to come through. But it's rooting well, which is what we wanted to do. So, and so is the corn, which died down when we brought it in. Tried to die down once we transplanted, came right back up. up. Look at that root action. That's how you know you have healthy plants, all white roots. So as long as this keeps growing, uh, if it produces corn, we're gonna eat corn. Well, yeah, that's it for right now. <laughs>